Okay, we're going to have a look at parts information and assigning to components. Uh, and we're going to do this in four different levels. So the first one, I'm going to place a symbol to represent the safety relay. And when I double click, I can assign the type directly to here. So this is a part number 750-104. And in the basic level package, I can display that information. And in the database, I could view the bill of materials, but it's only going to show me the type and the quantity. In the standard and advanced level package, in the functions, I can open the database. And if the part number isn't there, there's nothing there for PILTS, I can click on add and I can add the parts information. Now, if there are additional fields in here, which we want to make use of, we can click on add and we can choose from this list, but also be aware, I'm going to step back a bit in the settings on the bottom left. It's important to be aware there are selectable items. These are ones that can be selected and can be shown on the drawing. There are defaults which appear when you click on add. And there are properties where we can see a list of these with their ID. And there's a lot to these right down the bottom. We can start adding our own properties. So under defaults, I'm actually going to put in there that I might want a hyperlink. I might want an order number and perhaps a supplier as well. So I'm going to add that part number. I'm going to go to type and we're going to put it in 750 104 description 24 volt DC safety relay in the manufacturer. I can type in there PI now PILTS isn't in there, so I'm just going to type in a new one. And in the goods group, I'm going to choose safety relays. Now there is one in there. If there isn't, you just type in a new one and that will create a new category or goods group. Those are the required fields. We must put those four in. Type is a unique reference to the part number. Description is just the obvious description. The manufacturer is straightforward. And then goods group is the category, the type of components. So that's the minimum. We can click OK, click on close. And we can say yes to update the definition. So this is C Electrical V8R3 Service Pack 3. And we will find it prompts us to update that information. It's important to do that. If you're not on an earlier version, you may need to click on functions and update properties. So when we look at this, we can see that same part number. But now when we look at the database view bill of materials, we now have a complete list of information. The next thing we can do is perhaps look at putting some additional text on this symbol related to the parts information. So if I zoom in, Add some text, create new text, and put it as just being a question mark to start with. And in the attributes, we go all the way down to the bottom to type attributes. So here I could pick voltage maybe. I'm going to put it as being right justified, and I'm going to put it underneath the text. Let me just change my grid. And I'm also going to choose a different one here for series. These two bits of text can be added to the symbol by selecting, right click, and adding to block. I'm just going to put it back to a five millimeter grid now. And if I just double click on the symbol, click on OK, it fills that in with any text that's on there. Now there isn't any at the moment, so let's double click on the symbol. And this is Service Pack 3, V8R3. So I can right click, open the database in editor mode, and I can edit that information here. So I could put 24 volt DC in there and I don't see series. So I'm going to click on add and I'm going to add that to this part number. And I'm going to say, this is PNOS S4 click. Okay. And then close it. It's important to use the close and not the X on the top to cancel. So close and yes, I want to update the information there. Click okay. And I can now see that information directly from the type database. Now the next level we can go to is actually defining what symbol to use. Again, I'm going to go back in here by double clicking, right click on the type, open in database editor mode. If you have an earlier version, you will need to highlight the text for the type, control C, come out of there and go into the functions and database. And then you'll have to enter it there and double click. So it's much quicker with service pack three. Now the next thing we can do is actually specify what symbol to use on C electrical. So we can go down to the define channels, 
click on the buttons on the right and it shows us a list of tabs depending on what modules we've purchased. On this one, I've got Circuit Diagram IC. In the symbols, I can search. I can list any of the symbols and I've got one here which was created earlier. We can click OK and it's put that information in there. Now it did warn us there's no connection points so we can go into the connection section on the left, click on the dots and it shows us a preview of the symbol and we can now start typing the connection information. So I'm going to put A1, A2 and I'm going to put S11 and S12 as the two inputs there. As you click on these in the latest version you see a preview Useful to see so that you can actually select and see where they're getting assigned. Now on this symbol, we could just choose the main component, but it's also got some additional contacts. So I'm going to put in here 13 and 14, 23 and 24, 33 and 34. And it's also got a closed contact. So I'm going to put in here 41 and 42. So I've added the extra connection points, but they don't get assigned to the main symbol. In this case, because it's a safety relay, it's got some additional contacts. I'm going to go down to electrical and automation, into relay contacts, normally open, and I'm going to choose a one pole, normally open. And again, it's warning me the connection points have me defined, so I can select those 13 and 14, and OK. Now, whenever I place this, I would like to see a reference symbol. So I'm going to go to references, scroll down to the bottom to types, click on mirrors and I'm going to choose a normally open cross-reference symbol. And I'm going to do that for the next three. So I'm going to the next two and I'm also going to just copy the symbols. Now I can't copy these ones but I can select it again just by clicking on the pull down and defining the connection points. I'm going to choose normally close contact for the last one. And again, in this case, actually, I'm just going to copy that and just change that to a C. So I've now defined that this is made up of a main symbol with four auxiliary contacts and each one of these has got a different reference defined. So I'm going to click OK. Click OK. Notice that's the symbol at the moment, connection points X1 and X2, but I've now defined different connection points. So when I click Close and update the definition, notice those connection points change. And I've got these auxiliaries on this side. And I can now right click, go to the complete command. This is my symbol. I can click OK and it now shows me these available contacts. And I can place these anywhere in the project to define where those contacts are. The next level or the final level that we're going to use here is from the web catalog. So this is a subscription service. If you've got a maintenance contract, you can take the subscription for C web catalog and under functions and database. When you go to C web catalog on the bottom, you can then search for the part number. So here I'm going to go to 750 104 and there's my relay. I'm going to click on the option on the left, add that to my cart. I could go and search for other parts, but now I can click on the cart and just download that part's information. It's asking me if I want to download associated symbols. I'm going to say yes. Now in this case, it's already got its own symbol and defined channels. So I'm going to say, do this for any following conflicts. Click on OK and it's given me a spreadsheet view of what's happened. So I can click on close and then close. And now if I look for this, not in the symbols, but under components. And if I look for the 750 104, there I can see my symbol, place it in, and that's got the part number on there. It also had a 3D symbol. So let me just go back through that. I'm going to go into Open Database, 
see web catalog 750.104 and I'm going to click on the cloud there to download that part number I'm going to say yes to save it put it into my downloads and then close now it doesn't add that to my 3D catalog straight away so what I'm going to do is open up a 3D panel page so if you have the 3D panel module you can create a new page choose a template I don't have many symbols in here but if I just right click in the symbols panel that's the one with the yellow cube and choose import IGE symbol I'm going to click on my downloads there's my symbol I've just downloaded it's imported and that's the actual component so I can test this out just by clicking on that symbol and there's my symbol in 3d with all the connection points 